Do you know how Honda, one of the world's biggest car manufacturers, was created? In this video, we explain in detail how a poor Japanese boy created Honda. But before we start, please like and subscribe to this channel, and then sit back and relax. What is Honda? The company's name and logo are the surnames of its founder. Their slogan, the power of dreams, perfectly reflects their corporate culture, to chase dreams and make them come true. This is the direction that Honda has taken from the moment of its foundation and which has as its ultimate goal to create new values for its customers. Honda Motor Company Limited, Honda Gaiken Kogyo Kabushiki Geisha, is a company of Japanese origin that manufactures automobiles, propellers for land, water, and air vehicles, motorcycles, robots, and components for the automotive industry. It was founded in 1949 in Hamamatsu, Japan, by the engineer Soichiro Honda under the name of Honda Technical Research Institute, Honda Institute of Technical Research. The company started when Soichiro Honda managed to power a bicycle with a small auxiliary motor. This anecdote, together with the philosophy of its founder, is reflected in the company's current motto, the power of dreams, and in the innovative spirit of the company, which defines its mission as to offer products that contribute to improving the mobility of people and the well-being of society. Soichiro Honda once summed up his company philosophy by stating that Honda products are known throughout the world not only for their good quality, but also for the philosophy behind them. In March 2009, Honda cut its production by 40% to reduce its inventories and face a drop in its sales. Likewise, Honda has focused its efforts on the sustainable mobility strategy that it has been developing for almost four decades, oriented towards ecological cars, such as hybrids, and those powered by a hydrogen fuel cell, such as the new Insight and the SCX Clarity, respectively. Honda's Sustainable Mobility One of Honda's strengths and its main differentiation factor from other automobile companies is the research and development of technologies that make it possible to achieve so-called sustainable mobility, a strategy that began more than 30 years ago. Today, the company is focused on promoting hybrid vehicles, as it considers that this technology is currently the most effective in reducing polluting emissions and one of the few already available and accessible on a massive scale on the market. Honda believes that hybrids are the logical intermediate step towards completely clean technologies. With this objective, Honda launched the Insight car in February 2009, the last hybrid car in its range, hair to the original Insight. 1999, it was the first hybrid marketed in the United States and Europe. Thanks to decades of research, today Honda vehicles are among those that generate the least polluting emissions in each of their categories. This effort was rewarded when, at the beginning of 2008, the new registration tax came into force in Spain, based on emission criteria to prioritize the most ecological vehicles. Honda was one of the best positioned companies. Hiroyuki Yoshino, the former president of Honda Motor, predicted the transition to electric vehicles in December 1998. Eventually, the industry will be obliged to migrate to electric vehicles, whatever they are, whether they are batteries or fuel cells. There is a worldwide energy crisis right now, although you have probably heard this before, it is true this time. There is no avoiding it, whether it happens in 30 years or sooner. In addition, Honda applies a strict program of policies focused on more efficient use of energy, the reduction of polluting emissions, and the reduction of the consumption of the engines that it develops to reduce its environmental impact, which reaches the areas of production, sale, and sales service. Thanks to all this, Honda was named in 2007, for the fourth consecutive year, the greenest car manufacturer. Union of Concerned Scientists, and is one of the three companies in the automotive sector included in the top 100 most sustainable companies of the world in 2008. Another of Honda's preferred lines of research is the development of the FCX Clarity, the most advanced hydrogen fuel cell-powered car. Honda has been researching the development of its hydrogen vehicle, the first and only zero-emission vehicle since the 1980s and is the only company that has obtained approval to market its vehicle powered by this system in Japan and the United States. SCX Clarity is a symbol of the mobility of the future of the hydrogen economy. 
The Honda SCX Clarity is capable of traveling 460 km without refueling and reaching a speed of 160 km per hour, emitting only water vapor into the atmosphere, that is, zero polluting emissions. Where does Honda come from, and why is it called that? The Japanese brand started from scratch, and its founder took it to the top of the industry to produce land and marine vehicles, and also airplanes. Soichiro Honda was born on November 17, 1906, into a humble family in Shizuoka, Japan, and from a very young age, he learned to repair bicycles in his father's workshop, some knowledge in which he continued to learn from the age of 15 when he moved to Tokyo to work in a car workshop and returned home six years later as an expert mechanic. It didn't take long for him to start his first adventure in the business world, Tokai Siki, a piston ring factory that he temporarily abandoned to pursue university studies, but in a short time he started it up again until, during World War II, an American B-29 plane violently ended his projects by destroying it with its bombs. Success is 99% failure. Undaunted and faithful to one of his favorite mottos, Soichiro sold the remains of his factory to the manufacturer Toyota for 450,000 yen and invested the sum obtained to create in 1948, together with his partner Takio Fujisawa, the Honda Motor Company with the purpose of manufacturing motorcycles very necessary for the population in those hard post-war years. The company that he created using his last name as a name initially built mopeds and small motorcycles with two-stroke mechanics, but these seemed very noisy and unrefined. And to remedy it, he applied all his knowledge to develop a model in the early 50s that would change the course of the company. The Type E 150 with a four-stroke engine, and which would later be baptized as Dream. Sporting successes, always passionate about the world of competition, Honda would soon achieve its first world title in 1961 in the 125cc class with the Australian Ron Phyllis as a pilot. From that moment on, the wing team, unlike the H on cars, the logo on Honda motorcycles is a golden wing, achieved what no other brand had achieved, winning all the championship categories in successive years, 50, 125, 250, 350, and 500. But the company had to continue growing and taking advantage of the experience gained in racing. In 1969, it launched the CB750 on the market, a motorcycle that due to its quality and technology, forever changed the world of two wheels, paving the way for its rivals. Encouraged by his early successes, Soichiro Honda began to look much further. We only have one future, and it is made of our dreams. The next step was bolder if possible, and the Japanese firm began to develop and produce utility cars on a small scale, taking advantage of the engines developed in its motorcycles. Over time, the project matured, and in 1960, it presented the N360 with two cylinders and front-wheel drive, which would be the brand's first mass-produced model and whose annual production would grow spectacularly until reaching 232,000 in 1969 units. This small four-wheeled vehicle would be the germ that gave way to the popular Civic model that in successive generations has reached today. In the 70s, the automobile activity already exceeded the motorcycle division, and another great turning point occurred in the brand. Soichiro Honda and his stalwart partner retired in 1973 and were succeeded by the new president Kiyoshi Kawashima, a manager who had begun his career in the company assembling the engines on the production line. And following the expansive trajectory devised by his predecessors, he creates new industrial areas that include outboard marine engines, hydraulic pumps, garden mowers, and generator sets. Honda, the third world's car manufacturer, never forgetting its commitment to sporting tradition, Honda participated in the Formula One championship between 1963 and 1968, building its chassis and engines. And in 2006, he returned to competition until 2008, adding a total of 88 races held in the premier class of motorsport, nine podiums, and three victories. The Tokyo-based company's achievements have continued apace throughout this century.
In 2006, it created the Honda Aircraft Industrial Division to manufacture and market the HA420 Honda Jet, a jet engine private aircraft, becoming the only manufacturer in the sector that currently simultaneously produces land, marine, and aircraft vehicles, not to mention the Advanced Robotics Division, which has developed the famous Asimov Android to serve among other functions as an assistant for people with reduced mobility. Today, Honda is one of the best-valued brands in the world, and according to data from the Jato Consultancy, in 2021, it was one of the largest car manufacturers in third place by sales, 4.13 million, behind Toyota, 7.35, and Volkswagen, 4.57. In addition, its CRV model was also third, 713,143 units, among the best sellers globally, completing the podium after the Toyota Corolla, 985,336, and RAV4, 965,830. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, please share your thoughts about the history of Honda, how a poor Japanese boy created Honda in the comment section below. Thank you.